AFTV, we've got a yard man here. Yard man, what a fantastic win that was today to by the Arsenal. We have to say, big up to Arsenal. They play very well today. I must admit that is the first I see Pep Guardiola nervous. And today he was nervous. You have never seen City play that cagey before. It has never been happened. Yes, they got their big Roger out, they got Kevin De Bruyne out, but we did have Saka out, and we have Pata Martinelli out as well. So and Timber. It, it, Timber. It is, and, and Timber. Yeah. Well, I'm going to mention Timber because but we have our two big name players out, just like mm. them. And most of the time, you know City, the keeper play in the midfield all the time. They, they play such a high line. Today, none of that. Always five man dropping back. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, no, this is a different City team. This is like, Pep, take Mikel Arteta, like, today I'm not going to run the risk. He said the other day, didn't he? He said the other day, um, Pep Guardiola, this is a different Arsenal. He said the other day that they are back. He goes, this is Arsenal. They are title contenders. They're a serious team. And like you said, you could see that from his tactics today, right? You are right. You know what I mean? They, they, they even I think at half time, I don't know what the... The stats were at the second half, but the, the stats, like possession stats, were fairly even. We'd had more shots. I mean, you know, so it was a game of chess out there. It, it was, and, and I mean, if Arsenal are going to play like this against the best team in world football, and they're going to play such... I mean, first half was very, very... Not very poor, but first half was poor. The keeper makes some silly decision. You know, we start to question it in my head. I'm like, why we even take out Ramsey out of the goal and put it in him? But second half come is just like a different Arsenal. I mean, um, um, Martinelli. Martinelli come on and it was a different team. And do we deserve to lose when we play like that second half a team with, against a team like uh, Man City? No, we don't deserve to lose because Man City second half didn't get a look in. They did not. One, Man City one shot and target. That, that's not the city that we know. So it's not like Man City was poor to make us look good. We were good to make Man City poor. And if we go into game like that, and I love it because now we're going into the international break. So we're going to forget all of this. Beating Man City 1-0, we're going to forget it because we're going Chelsea next. And we don't want to go Chelsea. Isn't it good we don't go to Chelsea with that eye? And that I am believe that you know, and just lose momentum, lose focus. We're gonna go there with a clear slate again. I know that we're gonna take on Chelsea. And today, we're like everybody saying that I, I can't pick out a man of the match because mm. every single player Declan today, Rice. every single Declan Rice. It, we, we can't even say it's not even Declan Rice I'll alone. Give it to God, Georgina play good. Because yeah. when I when I see when I see and I realize that I'll last week at Beaumont we'd have um we'd have Thomas Party on the bench. So I'm saying to myself, okay, we're just resting him to come into the City game. But, you know, better knowledge. Keep him until the last 20 to 25 minutes and bring him in because we know what that guy can do when that guy sit. He can clean up. And Georgina play very well with Declan Rice. He sit good. He control the ball. He protect the ball. He never do that little funniness that he was doing last week. And he give Declan Rice the okay to get forward. And we know what Declan Rice can do. It's not like Declan Rice wasn't doing this a long time. He was the, he was the man at West Ham. He's been doing this all day long. So we know what Declan Rice can do. So I'm not surprised. I'm not going to say, hey, Declan Rice is the best. I'm no, not going to do that. What, I can tell you it's been a brilliant performance, right? Because yeah. you've been so positive, man. You know what I mean? I love this. <laughs> you know that. I love this, man. You know what I mean? You know that. <laughs> no, but, but like I said, yeah, yeah, you, we can't big up Declan Rice. Mm. He, he never failed. He never really failed to give us a 10 out of 10. When, yeah. when Declan Rice gives us a 7 or an 8, it's a bad game for him. 7 yeah, and 8. It's standard. That, standard. That's what's happening. So, so for me, I'm not yeah. going to say Declan Rice is man of the match. He's too good. You understand? We're going to give a player like Georgina because we see what he done last week. You understand? Uh, in, in the Champions League. We see what he done. So for him to come back in a game like this. And, and the next thing, we never give City the respect that we always yeah, give to exactly. them. And this is why we win the game today. Every time we, we, we drop off, and we give, leave them with the ball and we try to counter attack. We never do that today. We, we play them man for man today. You understand? No, what I would like to see you now is Mikel Arteta start that bargain with, with Brentford. Go and get Ivan Tony. We need a vocal player up there. We need a big player up there who can hold up the ball. Because yes, we, have, we have actually three players yeah. up there that can score at any time, any minute, any second, any hour. Options. Martinelli, Saka and Oligard. Them three players can score any time. All we need, we need, we need somebody who can rough up defender, yes. who can bully defender. Yes. I'm not going to say Jesus is not that one, but we need somebody who big, and we yeah. always have that in Arsenal. Yeah. But from Henry left, from the, the likes of um, 
you know the big player them they left we don't have that Juru we don't have it so we need that we need that vocal point we can we can get up there big play to Arsenal today we can't fault them today and if we never beat City today we could never beat them again it's 13 straight win and this is the only manager Mikel Arteta have never beat in the Premier League and today he's done it and well done to Mikel Arteta you get it spot on you never mess about you you actually you actually do what Pep do he make three change you give him 10 15 minutes and you make three change as well and everybody who play today play at eight or a nine and yeah, ten yeah, yeah. nobody play bad today yeah, yeah. Sweet.